After the leaf in your syllabus, the first chapter is root, the second chapter is stem, the third chapter is leaf leaves, the fourth is and then now till here we completed vegetative morphology. Vegetative morphology means root, stem, leaf. Now coming to reproductive morphology and this reproductive morphology is inflorescence. What is inflorescence? The stem after growing some time the stem after growing some time produces a special special weak delicate branch called as peduncle special special weak delicate branch called as or special structure called peduncle on the peduncle small leaf like structures are produced called bracts from the axils of the bracts either pedicellate flowers or sessile flowers are produced either pedicellate flowers or sessile flowers. This method of arrangement of flowers on the peduncle is called inflorescence or anthotaxis. Inflorescence or anthotaxis. So, other name of inflorescence is anthotax. In some plants terminal inflorescence is there. Terminal inflorescence means stem always ends with an inflorescence. Terminal inflorescence is found in croton and dolichus. Croton and Crotalaria. Then, then in the case of Dolichus, axillary inflorescence, and in the case of uh, Calistemon, intercalary inflorescence will be there. Intercalary inflorescence means the flowers or anything inflorescences are formed on the internodes, and once they are formed on the internodes, the growth of the stem also continues. Now, we discuss some important questions in inflorescence, some important questions. First question, arrange the following or arrange the below given genera showing the following inflorescence in this sequence, cymose inflorescence, special inflorescence, simple type of racemose inflorescence, compound type of racemose inflorescence, leucos, bougainvillea, coriandrum, gynandropsis. Answer is 2, 1, 4, 3. Why? Because First, I have given cymose. Cymose is 2, bougainvillea. In cymose, simple cyme is present or cymule is present. The peduncle grows definitely, ends as a flower. From the lower side, two lateral branches develop. They also become flowers. The growth stops. The central flower is older flower. So, cymose inflorescence is bougainvillea. Then, special type. Special type is first one, leucos. Why? Because in leucos, you will find verticel aster. Verticel aster is a special type of inflorescence. Then comes simple type of racemos. Simple type of racemos is gynandropsis. Simple type of racemos is gynandropsis. Why? Because the peduncle is unbranched. Peduncle is unbranched. All the flowers are arranged at the same height. Why? Because the lower flowers show long pedicels, upper flowers show short pedicels. So, all the flowers are arranged at the same height. And finally, compound type of racemose inflorescence 3, coriandrum. Compound means peduncle is branch. The peduncle grows, stops its growth. Bracts unite to form an involucre. Bract unites form. From the axils of involucre of bracts, instead of flowers, branches will come. And at the tip of the branches, again all the bracts unite to form involute cell. So, involute cell and involute. From the axils of involute cell of bracts, you will find many pedicellate flowers. So, branched will be compound. They open in centripetal manner. Answer is coriander. So, for this the answer is 2143. 2143 means bougainvillea. 1 is leucos. 4 is gynandropsis, 3 is coriandra. Next, tricarpillary pistil, fleshy peduncle, palea below the lodicules, whorl of bracteoles encircling the flower cluster, sympodial axis. These are all found in A. Tricarpillary, for this the answer is 3. <coughs> tricarpillary fistil, A is found in <coughs> 3. 3 means euphorbia. In euphorbia, single female flower will be there. The ovary is tricarpillary, syncarpus, trilocular. 
then B is 4. What is B? Fleshy peduncle. What is 4? Colocasia. Peduncle is fleshy with upper male flowers, lower female flowers, central neuter flowers. Then pelea below the lodicles. Pelea below the lodicules is C is found in 2. What is 2? Allium. I hope C is 2 allium. Sepa. Next. Pelea below the lodic. Then D. D is found in D is what? Horl of brachioles are sung in a flower cluster. This is found in Hemilia and other Allium sepa. Then comes Sympodial axis. Sympodial axis is found in Hemilia. Why? Hemilia, the inflorescence is monocacial helicoid sign. Monocacial helicoid sign means peduncle grows definitely, ends as a flower. From the lower side, flowers are produced in a spiral manner, but flowers are not formed in the axils of the bracts. They are formed opposite to the bracts. Whenever they are formed to the opposite to the bracts, it is not a real axis, it is a pseudo axis. Next. The special type of inflorescence in which flowers are produced in monocacial scorpioid cymes. The special type of inflorescence where the flowers are produced in monocacial scorpioid cymes are cyathium and verticelaster. Why? Because in cyathium, male flowers are stamens. In cyathium, male flowers are stamens, are arranged in a scorpioid manner, are arranged in a scorpioid manner. In the case of verticelaster, verticel means a false hole. The, the axis will be there. First, the inflorescence starts as a dicacial sign. The inflorescence starts as a dicacial sign. But on this dicacial sign, the remaining flowers are arranged in monocacial scorpioid manner. The remaining flowers are arranged in monocacial scorpioid manner. So, monocacial scorpioid sign showing special types are cyathium and verticillus. In cyathium, male flowers are definitely, male flowers or stamens are definitely arranged in scorpioid or monocacial scorpioid manner. In verticillaster, first actual inflorescence is a dicacial sign. Actual inflorescence is a dicacial sign and uh, the flowers are arranged in monocacial scorpioid manner. So, a combination of dicacial sign and monocacial scorpioid sign is verticellaster. In every verticellaster, every hole, the total number of flowers will be 7 this side and 7 this side. So, at each node, how many flowers are present? 14 flowers are present at each node. 7 on one side, 7 on other side. So, number of flowers present in the verticel of a leucas or verticellaster is 14. Next, study the following and identify the incorrect, incorrect regarding special type of inflorescence. Only C. In the kind, why means simple spadix fleshy branched peduncle three types of flowers is correct. Why? Because simple spadix fleshy branched peduncle, unbranched peduncle. Scorpioid same sympodial axis and branches in a zigzag manner. Cyathium involucre of bracts two types of sessile flowers is wrong. They are pedicellate flowers. Then hypanthodium fleshy peduncle three types of sessile flowers is correct. So answer is cyathium involucre of bracts two types of sessile flowers is wrong. It is slightly peduncle, pedicel will be there which is showing jointed nature. Next, choose the correct statement in the following. In gynandropsis, both the arrangement and opening of flowers is centripetal. Arrangement is not centripetal, only opening is centripetal. So, that is wrong. In amaranthus, flowers are unisexual. In amaranthus, flowers are not unisexual, they are bisexual because in amaranthus, the inflorescence is simple spike then C. The answer is C, D and E. In the inflorescence of cocos, two kinds of flowers are present. Definitely male flowers and female flowers are present. Flowers of oryza are hypogynous. Flowers of oryza are hypogynous is correct. Capitulum is present mainly in asteraceae members. So, capitulum or head is an inflorescence which is found only in asteraceae members. So, choose the correct statement in the following is C, D and E. First two are wrong. Why? In gynandropsis, both arrangement and opening is centripetal is wrong. Only opening is centripetal. Arrangement is acropetal. In amaranthus, flowers are unisexual. Wrong. In amaranthus and achiranthus, the inflorescence is a simple spike. That simple spike shows not unisexual flowers. It shows bisexual flowers. 
Next, solitary cyma of hibiscus is the simplest cymose in flower sense. The solitary cyma of hibiscus is axillary and it is definitely the simplest type of cymose in flower sense. Reason, the inflorescence axis is branched and bears a single flower at the tip of it. It is wrong. Inflorescence axis is not branched. You will all find in hibiscus there is one inflorescence like this and on this inflorescence axis there is a joint. The lower portion is called peduncle. The upper portion is called pedicel. All the bracteoles unite to form an involucre or it is called epicalyx. Sepals are united. Petals are large, stamens are mono adelphus, and they show five stigmas. So, it is not branched peduncle, it is unbranched peduncle. In hibiscus, it is axillary, <coughs> axillary solitary cyme. In datura, it is terminal solitary cyme. So, here the answer is A is correct. Solitary cyme of hibiscus is the simplest cyme of inflorescence, is correct. But the inflorescence axis is branched is wrong. Inflorescence axis is not branched, it is unbranched. Then assertion, all the female flowers of hypanthodium do not produce fruits. Some of the female flowers of hypanthodium are gall flowers. The answer is 1. Why? Because in hypanthodium, the inflorescence, this is called a fruit like inflorescence. Fruit like special inflorescence. It is popularly known as fruit like special inflorescence. It shows an apical opening. It shows an apical opening. Towards the inner side, it shows three different types of flowers. Upper flowers are fertile male flowers. Lower flowers are fertile female flowers. The central flowers are sterile female flowers. Sterile female flowers called gall flowers. The fertile male flowers liberate pollen grains. They fall on the stigma of fertile female flowers. The fertile female flowers after the falling of stigma uh, that means pollen grains on the stigma they produce fruits. The fruits that develop from these are akin dry indication fruits where fruit wall and seed coat are separate akins. Sterile gall flowers cannot produce fruits. Gall flowers show the presence of a special insect called blastophaga. So these sterile gall flowers cannot produce fruits. So assertion and reasoning both are correct. A is correct and R is the correct explanation of A. Next, estivation is not seen in the flowers of Sayatium in flower sense. Reason in Sayatium the flowers are a chlamydias. This is asked several times in MSET. Estivation is arrangement of perianth lobes in bud condition. Arrangement of perianth lobes in bud condition. In the case of Sayatium, male and female flowers are achlamydias. Male and female flowers are achlamydias. Male and female flowers of achlamydias means male and female flowers do not possess calyx and corolla. If calyx and corolla are not there, there is no question of studying estivation. So, the assertion is estivation is not seen in the flowers of Sayatium in flowers, since male flowers and female flowers. In Sayatium, the flowers are achlamydias. So, A and R are correct. R perfectly explains the A. Next, identify the correct match. Involucre, pedicellate, unisexual flowers, ficus. Involucre, sessile, bisexual flowers, allium. Involucel, stalked, unisexual flowers, docus. Unisexual flowers is wrong. Unisexual flowers is wrong. Now, involucre, sessile, one type of flowers is vernonia. Vernonia is a homogamous head, a homogamous head with all disc florets. Vernonia is an astraci plant with homogamous head, disc florets. Head means involucre will be there. Head means definitely sessile flowers. Only one type of florets means disc florets. So, in Vernonia, you will find a homogamous head with all disc florets. Homogamous head means involucre is correct. Homogamous head means sessile is correct. Only one type of flowers, Vernonia, definitely only disc flowers are present. So, the identify the correct match, the answer is 4. Next, identify the correct ascending order of taxa based on the number of flowers in the inflorescence. Answer is 1, C, B, A, D. Because in Datura, there is only one flower, terminal solitary sign. 
in the case of jasminum simple cyme so three flowers in the case of jasminum three flowers so in datura terminal solitary cyme one flower in the case of jasminum it is simple cyme so three flowers then comes then comes cb ad hemelia hemelia it is monocacial helicoid cyme the number of flowers will be definitely minimum and the last is d d is leucas just now i told leucas show verticel aster at each verticel false hole you will find 14 flowers so 14 flowers 1 3 3 some more than than and less than 14. so definitely ascending order will be answer is cbad c is first datura then jasminum datura only one flower jasminum three flowers hemelia definitely flowers lesser than leucas and leucas at each node there will be 14 flowers then this is a matching tabular form correct match of the following list sessile the answer is 4 one is b what is b sessile bisexual flowers amaranthus simple spike sessile bisexual flowers amaranthus simple spike you can write it down near the amaranthus as simple spike then 2 is d what is 2 pedicellate bisexual flowers gynandropsis gynandropsis is simple corymb pedicellate bisexual flowers then 3 is a what is three pedicellate unisexual flowers poinsettia poinsettia cyathium definitely pedicellate flowers where the pedicel shows a joint this sessile unisexual flowers c sessile unisexual flowers means ficus ficus means hypanthodium so sessile bisexual flowers pedicellate bisexual flowers pedicellate unisexual flowers sessile unisexual flowers regarding the inflorescences poinsettia is cyathium amaranthus is simple spike ficus is hypanthodium gynandropsis is simple corym the correlation between the types of flowers and inflorescences is discussed in this matching tabular form next find out the correct match lodicules oryza papus calotropis pelea triticum spath tridax lodicules oryza is correct because the reduced perianth lobes in compound spike inflorescence of any grass plant like oryza the reduced perianth lobes are called lodicules papus cannot be seen in calotropis why because calotropis papus means hairy persistent calyx it is not seen in calotropis pelea triticum is correct reduced bracteoles are called pelea on compound spike inflorescence so it is correct spath is found only in spadix inflorescence in tridax it is head inflorescence so spath cannot be found in tridax so answers are 1 and 3 lodicules in oryza pelea and triticum are the perfect correct matching next matching form match the following crotalaria cauliflower coriandrum cassia for this answer is 1 a3 crotalaria is simple raceme simple raceme is crotalaria cauliflower b1 cauliflower is fleshy peduncle in cauliflower compound corymb inflorescence will be there so what we eat in cauliflower is compound corymb the vegetable in compound the vegetable in cauliflower is compound corymb so cauliflower the answer is the first one b1 fleshy peduncle coriandrum c5 c5 is involucre and involucre just now i told peduncle grows stops its growth involucre are formed branches are formed involucre are formed and at the involucre you will find pedicellate flowers opening in centripetal manner so involucre and involucre both are found in coriandrum then cassia to simple core so in crotalaria simple raceme in cauliflower fleshy peduncle compound corymb inflorescence is used as a vegetable coriandrum involucre and involucre simple umbel is found in allium not in coriander then cassia cassia will be simple corymb answer is a3 b1 c5 d2 then all flowers arise at one point in umbel inflorescence all flowers arise at one point in umbel inflorescence is same because peduncle grows stops its growth all the bracts need to form an involucre and all the pedin- pedicellate flowers are developing from a single point this is correct then flowers arise at different positions on the peduncle in corymbose raceme in corymbose racemes also they are arranged on different points but both are correct they are not related to each other so answer will be both a and r are true 
or it does not explain the properly because above one is we are discussing about umbel inflorescence which is correct. The reason is we are discussing about corymbe inflorescence which is also correct but one and another are not related. So, both A and R are correct, R is not the correct explanation of A. Next, the single flower in hibiscus is considered as an inflorescence. The single flower in hibiscus is considered as an inflorescence. Peduncle and pedicel get articulated in hibiscus. In hibiscus, the inflorescence is axillary solitary same. If you find it very carefully, the stalk will show a joint. This joint is called articulation. The portion below the joint is called peduncle. The portion above the joint is called pedicel. So, both are found in this articulated, below the articulation peduncle, above the articulation pedicel. So, the single flower in hibiscus is considered as an inflorescence is correct. Peduncle and pedicel get articulated hibiscus is correct. So, both A and R are correct, R is the correct explanation of A. Next, sympodial axis is present in monocacial same. Branches arise from the axils of the bracts. Branches arise from the axils of the bracts. For this, the answer is not true. It is both. For this, the answer is both A and R are true. R does not explain. C A is true, but R is false. So, answer is not two. It is three. A is true. R is false. Sympodial axis is present in monocacial same is correct because bracts opposite to bracts flowers are produced. So, the answer is three. A is true. R is false. Sympodial axis is present in monocacial same is correct. Branches arranged from the axils of the bracts is wrong. Branches arise from opposite to the bracts. Flowers are formed from opposite to the bracts. Next. <coughs> Arrange the following in increasing order based on the number of branches. Datura, for this the answer is 1, 1, 2, 3. Datura, 1 branch. Bougainvillea, 3 branches. Nerium, many branches. So, answer is 1, 2, 3. That is, answer is 1. Because Datura is solitary same, only one, no branch at all or one axis. Bougainvillea 2, Nerium many. If you take the branches, Datura will be 0, no branch at all. Bougainvillea after the main axis ends as a flower, two branches develop, they also ends as flower. So, two branches, Nerium many. So, answer 1, 2, 3, 0, 2 and many. The common feature shared by simple resume, panicle, corim and compound corim. Listen the question carefully. The common feature shared by simple resume, panicle. Panicle is nothing but compound resume. Corim and compound corim all belongs to racemose inflorescence. All belongs to racemose inflorescence. Here, sessile flowers is wrong. Unisexual flowers is wrong. Fleshy peduncle is wrong. The correct answer is acrobatal arrangement because racemose inflorescence is identified by three characters. One is peduncle grows indefinitely. Peduncle grows indefinitely. Flowers are arranged in acropetal succession. Lower flowers are older, upper flowers are younger. Suppose these two characters are not there and it is a condensed peduncle. Then flowers open in centripetal manner. Centripetal opening of flower. Centripetal means the flowers open from periphery to center. So, in racemose inflorescence, three basic characters, peduncle grows indefinitely, flowers are arranged in acropetal succession. Suppose there are two characters are not there, only one condensed axis is there, then flowers open in centripetal manner. So, here the answer for common character for simple resume, compound resume or panicle, simple corium and compound corium is all the flowers are arranged in acropetal arrangement. Then another matching. Compound spike, simple corium, scarpiate same, dicacial same. Answer is 1. Compound spike A2, panicle with sessile flowers. Compound spike is also called panicle, panicle with sessile flowers. Simple corium 3, flowers with unequal pedicels. Why unequal pedicels? Lower flowers show long pedicels, upper flowers show short pedicels. C1, scarpiate same. Scarpiate same is normally found in monocacial same. Scarpiate same is found in monocacial same. Then D5. Dicacial same, two branches ending with flower at, for, at a time. So, peduncle grows definitely, ends as a flower. From the lower side, two lateral branches develop, they also become flowers. Again, two lateral branches develop, they also become flowers. This is called dicacial same. This is called dicacial same, and dicacial same is found in Ipomia.
cleo dendron hypomia and cleo dendron are the plants with dicasial same dicasial same how it resembles first peduncle grows definitely and ends as a flower from the lower side two lateral branches develop they also become flowers and this method continues so dicasial same is fifth option that is two branches ending with a flower each time next a leafy vegetable with both involucre and involute cells a leafy vegetable with both involucre and involute cell both involucre and involute cell is present mean that is a compound umbel in flowers compound umbel in flowers is with both involucre and involute cell this both involucre and involute cell here amaranthus is a leafy vegetable but here the amaranthus shows simple spike hibiscus cannabinus is also a leafy vegetable but here it is an axillary solitary cyme trigonella finum graecum is also a leafy vegetable but it is showing only simple rhizome as it belongs to fabaceae so the answer here is coriander it is a leafy vegetable with involucre and involute cell means involucre and involute cell involucre and involute cell are found in compound umbel inflorescence compound umbel inflorescence is a special feature of the plants of apaceae or umbelliferae it is a special feature of apacr umbelliferae so here the answer is coriander <coughs> next in clerodendron peduncle undergoes branching in two generation then the total number of present inflorescence two generations means peduncle grows definitely and ends as a flower we all know clerodendron dicasial sign from the lower side first generation is formed first generation produces two flowers second generation two flowers so in total how many flowers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so in total after two generations how many flowers are present in clerodendron dicasial cyme seven flowers are present in clerodendron then sessile flowers each with a small individual bract and not surrounded by involucre develop acropetally on a upright peduncle upright peduncle means straight peduncle bracts are formed and sessile flowers are present this is a character of simple spike simple spike is found in acaranthus and amaranthus so the question is the question is sessile flowers each with a simple small individual bract each with a bract and not surrounded by any involucre here bracts are not formed into involucre develop acropetally on an upright peduncle straight peduncle they are arranged acropetally so answer is acaranthus and amaranthus why because the remaining options here are the remaining options here are helianthus helianthus is a heterogamous head spiranthus Spiranthus is a compound head. Gynandropsis. Gynandropsis is a simple corym. So answer is Acheranthus. Then study the following and identify the incorrect regarding special type of inflorescence. Only see Hypanthodium fleshy peduncle. Three types of sessile flowers. C only is the answer. Next, <coughs> the flowers in Cyathium are unisexual, sessile, pedicellate, eclamidious. unisexual correct sessile is wrong because they are pedicellate where pedicel shows a joint sessile is wrong pedicellate is correct eclamidias is correct so answer is 1 3 and 4 cyathium we all know it is a cup like inflorescence where cup is formed by the involucre of bracts with the nectary glands on its surface it shows long single solitary female flower with a joint female flower shows tricarpellary syncarpus trilocular condition this female flower is surrounded by numerous male flowers which are arranged in the form of a zigzag manner or scorpioid manner zigzag manner or scorpioid manner it is not a flower it is an inflorescence how can you say that this is not a flower an inflorescence means one jointed stalk two stamens stamens maturing or opening in centrifugal manner stamens maturing or opening in centrifugal manner these two characters prove that cyathium is an inflorescence but not a flower cyathium is an inflorescence but not a flower so here the answer is 
1, 3 and 4. Next, identify the correct ascending order of taxa based on the number of flowers in an inflorescence. First one, CB, AD just now we discussed, Datura 1, Jasmine 3, Hemilia many and Lucas 14. Next, in a compound umbel, the ratio of involucre and involute cell, the ratio of involucre and involute cell will be respectively. Involucre is only one. Involute cells may be many. Involucre is only one. Involute cells will be many. So, one is to many. One is to many. So, in a compound umbel means in the APAC or umbellifera, coriandrum, docus and other things. Here, the number of involucre will be only one. The number of involute cells will be many. So, answer is one is to many. Next, single flower like racemose inflorescence. Single flower like racemose inflorescence is head inflorescence. Head or capitulum. Head or capitulum is a single flower like racemose inflorescence, not single flower like special. Single flower like special inflorescence is cyathium. Single flower like racemose inflorescence is head inflorescence. Why? Because in head, the peduncle grows and stops its growth. At the tip of the peduncle, all the structures unite to form a special structure called receptacle. All the bracts unite to form an involucre. And these two different types of small florets are present. The peripheral florets are ray florets, the central florets are disc florets. Even though it has many disc florets, many ray florets, it is a racemose inflorescence which appears, racemose inflorescence with sessile flowers and racemose inflorescence which appear like a single flower like racemose inflorescence is head inflorescence. Next, in hypanthodium the gall flowers are, just now we discussed, the all gall flowers are sessile female flowers, the sessile female are sterile female flowers, the sterile female flowers present at the center are popularly called as gall flowers. Next, find out the correct match, lodicules and pelea, lodicules in oriza, pelea in triticum. Next, Type of inflorescence, family and example. Type of inflorescence, family and example. Simple spadix is found in, the answer is 1 and 3. Simple spadix is found in Aroidae family. Example will be Colocasia, correct. Catkin is found in Amentiferae family, but Acheranthus is wrong. In Acheranthus, it is simple spike. In Acheranthus, it is simple spike. Verticelaster, Lamiaceae, Leucas is correct. Verticelaster, Lamiaceae or Labiate, Leucas is correct. Simple spike is not found in Poiesi. In Poiesi, it is compound spike. In this first one, it is correct. Simple spadix, Aroidae, Colocasia is very much correct because simple spadix is found in the plants of the family Aroidae. Best example is Colocasia. Catkin is found in Amentiferae. That means inflorescence and family are correct, but example is wrong. Example is not Acheranthus. It must be either Acalypha or something like that. Verticelaster, Lamiaceae, Leucas, three are correct. Verticelaster is found in the plants of Labiate or Lamiaceae. Best example is Leucas. Simple spike, Poiesi, Oriza. Poiesi and Oriza are correct, but simple spike is wrong. Here the inflorescence must be compound spike. <coughs> Next, a common character found in simple spadix, compound spadix and cyathium. In simple spadix, compound spadix and spyathium, the common character present is Absence of perianth. Calyx and corolla are absent. A common character in simple spadix of Colocasia, compound spadix of Musa and uh, Cocos and Cyathium. Absence of perianth. Calyx and corolla are absent. Compound spadix of Cocos. So, compound spadix is found in two plants. Compound spadix means peduncle is very much branch and each branch is a simple spadix. In compound spadix, there are two examples. One is Cocos the other is Musa. Here many branches are present and all the branches are covered by one large boat shape bract called spathe. That means the ratio of spathe and branches is one is to many. In the case of Musa, many branches are present. And each branch is covered by a spathe. Is covered by a spathe. That means the ratio of spathe and branches in Musa is 1 is to 1. This is very important. In Cocos and Musa, compound spadix is known. 
compound spadics is pedunculate is very much branched and each branch is a simple spadics. So in compound spadics of coca specialties, many branches are there. All the branches are covered by one common bract that is spade. So one is to many. In musa, the compound spadics is present and this compound spadics will be definitely showing each branch is surrounded by its own spade. Next. A pedicillate racemose inflorescence which shows acropetal arrangement and centripetal opening of flowers is found in gynandropsis. Why? Because in gynandropsis peduncle grows indefinitely, flowers are arranged in acropetal succession. Lower flowers show long pedicils, upper flowers show short pedicils. So this is acropetal arrangement and all the flowers are arranged at the same height. So this is centripetal opening. So gynandropsis is a plant which shows all the three basic characters of racemose inflorescence. What are the three basic characters? indefinite growth of peduncle, flowers are arranged in acropetal succession and flowers open in centripetal manner. Many flowers are there, unbranched or branched peduncle, they are in different heights. Why? Because lower flowers show long pedicils, upper flowers show short pedicils. All the flowers are arranged at the same height, so acropetal arrangement will be there, peduncle grows indefinitely will be there and flowers open in centripetal manner. From periphery to center it appears to be opening. So answer is Ganand. Allium cannot be because it is simple umbel. Mangifera cannot be because it is compound regime and docus simple umbel. In amentum the flowers are, amentum is nothing but catkin. Catkin unisexual and sessile. The basic difference between spadix and amentum is, spadix and uh, catkin is, spadix is a straight inflorescence with unisexual flowers or bisexual flowers. Catkin is weak drooping peduncle with unisexual sessile flowers. So, amentum always shows unisexual sessile flowers. Next, exerophyte having cyclic phyllotaxy and polycasial cyme inflorescence. Cyclic phyllotaxy means at each node hold phyllotaxy and cyclic phyllotaxy both are same. At each node there will be more than two leaves. Whenever there are more than two leaves, definitely from the axils a flower is formed or inflorescence is formed. So cyclic or hold phyllotaxy, cyclic or hold phyllotaxy with polycasial cyme inflorescence. Polycasial cyme means peduncle grows definitely ends with a flower. From the lower side more than two lateral branches develop, they also become flower. Polycasial cyme are found in nerium. Nerium is the best example because euphorbia, euphorbia is sayatium. Euphorbia is sayatium. I am telling the answers of other options also. Euphorbia is sayatium. Asparagus, we all know it is a plant of liliaceae with simple regime. Then clerodendron, just now I explained, dicasial cyme. So, answer is nerium. Next, total number of flowers in 10 inflorescence of Datura and 20 inflorescence of Jasminum respectively. 10 inflorescence of Datura means 10 into 1. 20 inflorescence of Jasmina is 20 into 3, that is 10 and 60. So, total number of flowers in the 10 inflorescence of Datura. Datura is solitary sign, so 10 into 1 will be 10. 20 inflorescences of Jasminum. Jasminum is a simple sign. Simple sign means Peduncle grows definitely from the lower side, two lateral branches develop, they also become flowers, so the growth stops. That means the total inflorescence is represented by three flowers. So, answer is 10 and 60. Next, intercalary inflorescence is, this is a very important bit. What is intercalary inflorescence means? The peduncle will be like this, it shows nodes and internodes. The inflorescence develops on the internodes. Normally, after the formation of inflorescence, the growth of the stem stops, but here the growth of the stem continues. It is found in Calistemon. So, Calistemon is a plant with intercalary inflorescence. Intercalary inflorescence means the flowers are formed on the internodes and the growth of the stem continues. That is intercalary. Polyalthia will not be that. Theobroma shows cauliflory. What is cauliflory? Formation of flowers on an old stem is called cauliflory. So, polyalthia theobroma always shows cauliflory. Formation of flowers on an old stem. Calistemon intercalary inflorescence. Crotillaria a simple regime inflorescence. Terminal simple regime inflorescence. Next, <coughs> which one is the true statement in the following? 
in vernonia homogamous head is present is correct homogamous head with all disc florets the ray florets are unisexuals correct because ray florets are female flowers which shows only ovary style and sigma echinops and spiranthus show branch in inflorescence where each branch is a simple head echinops and spiranthus are the best examples of compound head compound head means peduncle is very much branched and at the tip of the peduncle a flower will be formed and that is a head in inflorescence is formed so in vernonia homogamous head is present because it is correct all ray florets ray florets are unisexual that is correct because gynecium is present androecium is completely absent echinops and spiranthus show a branched in inflorescence correct where each branch ends with a simple head is correct that's why it is compound head all the above will be the answer all the above next the total number of flowers in a cyathium having 16 stamens the total number of flowers in a cyathium having 16 stamens 16 stamens means 16 male flowers the question is total number of flowers in a cyathium in a cyathium one female flower will be present so 16 male flowers and one female flowers the total number of flowers in a cyathium in inflorescence will be 17 if the same question is asked the total number of microsporophylls and megasporophylls total number of microsporophylls and megasporophylls in a cyathium in inflorescence with 15 stamens and one ovary style or one gynecium is 15 plus 3 why because once gynecium shows tricarpellary condition each carpel is regarded as a mega sporophyll so three carpels will be there so 15 stamens means 15 microsporophylls one female flower means one meg three mega sporophylls so answer is 3 17 flowers why because 17 flowers is the answer why because 16 stamens are given 16 stamens is equal to 16 male flowers one female flower will be there so 16 plus 1 17 flowers next the ratio of female flowers to pistils in a cyathium in inflorescence just now i told female flowers to a pistil the ratio of female flowers to pistils in a cyathium in inflorescence for this answer is not 1 it is not 3 it is 1 female flower is 1 and pistils will be that means ovary is 1 so answer is 1 is to 1 if carpels are given then it is 1 is to 3 here question is the ratio of female flowers to pistils female flower is nothing but ovary style and stigma which is called pistil so answer is 1 is to 1 if the same question is asked the ratio of female flowers to carpels female flower will be 1 and carpels will be 3 if the same question is asked the ratio of female flowers and male flowers then 1 is to many suppose the same question is asked if male flowers the ratio of male flowers and female flowers the ratio is many is to 1 so this is the racemos that means the inflorescence or antho taxis with racemos with pedicellate flowers so many bits racemos with pedicellate flowers means simple raceme compound raceme simple corym compound corym simple umbel compound umbel racemos with sessile flowers simple spike compound spike spadix that means catkin simple spadix compound spadix head with homogamous head and heterogamous head then cymose inflorescence with solitary cyme simple cyme monocacial helicoid cyme monocacial scorpioid cyme dicacial cyme polycacial cyme then special inflorescences cyathium verticella aster hypanthodium these are there in your syllabus and regarding those concepts starting from racemos or starting from terminal inflorescence axillary inflorescence intercalar inflorescence cauliflory where flowers are formed on an old stem and above all all these bits are from inflorescence chapter so that's all about leaf and inflorescence in the next class we discuss the remaining two chapters that is flower and reproduction in plants reproduction plants can be divided into parts and we discuss in the next class okay. so these are the bits from racemos inflorescence cymos inflorescence special types of inflorescence there is another inflorescence by name mixed inflorescence mixed inflorescence is found in asimum asimum is asimum sanctum we all know holy basil why it is mixed inflorescence it is popularly called thyrses t h y r s u s what is a thyrses here peduncle grows indefinitely there is one inflorescence which is by name 
thyrsus. It is found in ossimum. It is a mixed inflows, not a special type. It is a mixed inflows. Why mixed? Because here it shows both racemos and cymos character. Racemos characters are. It shows racemos characters and cymos. Racemos characters are peduncle growing indefinitely. Peduncle growing indefinitely. Flowers are arranged in acropetal succession. Flowers are arranged in acropetal succession or acropetal manner. Cymos characters are at each point three flowers are formed. That means at each point there is a simple sign. Three flowers are produced. So what are cymos characters? At each node or each point, three flowers are formed. As simple signs, three flowers are formed as simple signs, and flowers open in centrifugal manner. In Asimum, there is a special type of inflorescence thyrses. Here, there are two racemos and cymos character. Racemos is peduncle grows indefinitely, flowers in acropetal succession. Cymos is at each point six flowers, two groups of three each. This side three, this side three. Each group is a simple sign, and flowers always open in centrifugal manner. Because of these characters, it can be regarded as a special, special type or a mixed type of inflorescence. So these are the chapters we discuss: leaf and inflorescence. I wish you all success. Try to get good marks in these chapters.